Welcome, my friends, to day 26 of 40 Days of Inspiration to Your PMP Exam Success. Today, I've got a quote for you, and the quote is about process again. It says, Good governance is about the process for making and implementing decisions. It is not about making correct decisions, but about the best possible process for making those decisions, said Simon Zadek. That is true because the PMI says governance is the framework within which authority is exercised. So it's a framework. It's a process. It's a vehicle. That's what it's about. It's a vehicle to help you make decisions and to get from point A to point B. It's about guidelines and it's about authority as well and following order and process. So keep that in mind. Now today, our topic today is somewhat related because on day 26, we're talking about managing project artifacts. And if you've read the PEMBA guide enough, you know that this whole concept of artifacts is a rather important one. You know that when it comes to these artifacts, there needs to be a process. You don't just decide on how artifacts are going to be managed randomly. You need to have some pre-thought process for those artifacts. Now, when we use the word artifacts in Agile, we're talking about product backlog, sprint backlog, the increment, Burn up charts, burn down charts, storyboards, Kanban boards, information radiators, and the list goes on. But when we're talking about artifacts in the world of traditional, it's a totally different set of artifacts. And those you can find in either process groups or practice guide or PMBOK 6. And it's that long list of all the baselines and all the plans and all the documents, all that stuff. So make sure you go through those with a fine tooth comb and know what each one does for you as a project manager or as someone involved with an agile team. So here on the screen, let's zoom in to day 26. That is number 12 of the list. It says manage project artifacts, determine artifact requirements, Validate information is updated and assess management effectiveness. Three things. Pretty straightforward. So you find yourself in a situation you need to deduce what is the best way of managing these artifacts. One of the pieces of advice I give my students who teach and coach and help other firms is when you go into a firm, don't take an unwieldy process. Don't make it big. For the sake of being big, if possible, as much as you can, chop it down, whittle it down. And in that way, the people who you're helping, the people you're coaching, the people you're training, they'll be happy that you didn't make their life unbearable for no good reason. Right. So always keep it simple, streamline the process, and you'll be glad that you did. Thank you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It helps the algorithm, and it also helps your buddy Phil. Talk to you tomorrow.